What is going on guys, my name is Sean, back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to Heavenly Delusion, episode 3. Now, last episode we got to see some curious things, we got to see more of the monsters, I forget what they're calling them, uh, but we got to see an up close and personal encounter with a monster who just cut a girl's face off and cut her in half. It was quite, it was quite traumatic uh, for them. Um, yeah, but pretty brutal. I'm actually surprised at how mature this show actually is. I did talk about this last episode. Um, the amount of just promiscuity shown is something that I'm not normally I've not normally seen in anime, and it's a bit of fresh air. It's a it's a breath of fresh air. I just hope it doesn't become a major focus. For example, uh, we got to see the 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 nude the the nude selfie sent. Uh, by that girl who predicted the test uh, to one of the guys who had a nosebleed after seeing it, or was after seeing her again, it it was it was very different. I I don't think I've ever seen that, and it's not hentai based or um, adult themed. Not that I can think of right off the top of my head. Or if it is, it's usually just implied. They don't really show anything. They basically show things with the most amount, the lowest amount of censoring available. I am curious on how they're going to continue this. Um, they're they're going back to Tokyo, it seems like, um, after seeing that this tomato heaven was not actually what it is. Um, it's just a hub of people growing uh, crops and then smoking pot. So, very interesting. Another thing is, uh, the main female lead does believe that her mind is male and that she thinks she's a male. I want to see how that turns out. Maybe it'll go down. Uh, maybe she just has that mindset. It's a more of a tomboyish mindset. Or she actually believes, hey, just because I'm in a female body doesn't mean I'm female. If she, if they want to go down that route. Another thing that would not be very common in most anime or manga or anything of that of the like is at all it's not that it's not a common topic but i'm ready to jump into this episode i want to see more um thankfully it looks like things are not going to be as busy as i thought but i will have to wrap this up soon so i can maybe knock out two more episodes today uh by the time i already have some already scheduled uh so it just depends on how uh, the hd processing for youtube is because when i first upload it if i don't wait quality is very bad and usually if i just push it out without it um, fully going through it takes even longer so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to space it out where by the time it uploads and you guys see it um the hd preview is already up and set up so that's my viewpoint but anyways i'm ready to jump into this episode enough talking so let's start up in three two one let's jam again skip an intro so Oh, okay. Twenty thirty-four. Five years ago, we were working on a cart Sorry, I'm not trying to make it. That's loud. Yeah, we get to see that, like, she was... She looked like someone else. Oh, is that the guy in the photo? No, that doesn't look like him. Maybe. Intro. Sorry, skipping it. Yeah. Sorry. I'm trying not to watch intros and outros. I'm going to watch them on my own time. Th 
Bro. Say that to Mike Tyson. If you ever saw... Sorry, tangent. Mike Tyson, when he first got out of prison and he, they were doing the square up, stared that man into the soul. And he probably got into his mind enough with that stare alone. Yeah. Sorry, it looks like my roommate is uh opening up the garage door. I didn't want to talk. Um that he's wearing her jacket. So I'm assuming he gives her her the jacket. So they changed their hairstyle. Mm. That's the picture of them. Because you got to see it cut out and you saw black hair, which is hers. Apologies, my computer is making noises. I know it's set up so you guys can't really hear it, but... Hoping it's okay. Is it a man eater? Oh. Oh, but they're too loud, they can't hear. I 
also realized her cart is very similar to the position that you'd be on a motorcycle. Not like a Harley where you sit down, but more, yeah. Like an actual bike bike. Everyone else is sitting like an actual car, but hers is unique. I feel like that a little bit off. Oh, I wonder if that was the um guy from the last episode. Nope. Well now you just pissed it off. Damn. Oh, it's like a glue, like an adhesive. I'm guessing this is one of the times he was saying that she saved him. Ooh. Oh, is that where she got her cuts from? Oh my Okay. All right. I mean, you did hear that like ripping noise as he was in there, but so I guess that makes sense. Okay, so I thought that was the main cat. I I'm I guess I'm a little bit confused on that regard cuz I was assuming that is the same girl. I mean, you got you saw the cuts. Oh, is it the shrapnel that was in her? Oh.
Did they cut open his head? I'm trying to figure out what that gunshot was. What? Okay. But why is she injured? Why is her head open? It's like they actually put his brain in there. I am so confused. Call it M. Night Shyamalan because that's a twist. Yeah, words. Words are hard to come by right now. Oh, 
This really explains the whole, my mind is male. It could be truly. Understandable. <laughs> I was totally wrong in the beginning of this, like when my probably for something man eater. Is it the fish with the arms? No, it can't be. Is it the fish with the arms? Are the kids creating it? No, there's no way. There's no way. If it's fish with a bunch of fucking arms, that's a sign. That's a sign. <laughs> fucking shit. Holy shit. Is the drawer... In some part of way, creating these fucking atrocities. <laughs> Sorry, fuck you, I can't listen to the ending. We got a little bit of extra time, so there is an ending. I'm on to you, you bastard. No. I don't. You know who else doesn't? The outside world. What? No. But we're going to anyway. Okay. Okay. Um. Speculation time. Cuckoo, I think that's his name, is making these weird drawings that are turning into these monsters. I don't know if they're exactly the same ones because we only saw the fish. I think it is a man-eater. I think they said it was a man-eater themselves. In fact, really quickly, um, I want to go back. Did it say man-eater? No, it just says it's a huge fish. Yeah, okay. 
Is it a... Did they say man-eater? I'm, I'm just totally drawing it, missing it. Okay, so they did say it's a man-eater. Okay. So, he is either the main reason or a reason of these man-eaters existing... And is the school using his drawings to create these things? Because I still don't know what the purpose of the school is. Again, assuming it's a school, uniforms and everything. Um, and they have teachers, so school. So I'm assuming the school is either allowing this to happen, or they're getting the drawings and using his ideas to make these monsters. It's either or. It's either that he's inadvertently or advertently creating these monsters through his drawings, or the director and all of the teachers get those drawings, they find them, because you saw the surveillance system, so they can easily see those drawings, and they use those as inspirations for those monsters. It's either or. I'm really curious as to see where this is going to go. This was... This was the episode that made it... That really was that really threw things on its head. I can't wait to watch more. I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch more, but we'll see. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to this now. Like, the first episode, good. Second episode, alright, ended, eh. But then a lot of things happen. So, she's either going through two things. Why? What happened to the sister? The original sister for her to get into this position? I have no clue. Is it really the younger brother who cut open his head? Which you saw, his head was cut open. And did they actually switch brains? If that's the case, one, that's fucking weird, and two, why? Or it is just that she suffered this, something that happened to her head, and it made her believe that she was the brother. But then that doesn't answer the question, why was the boy's head cut open? It doesn't make any sense. Again, more questions, less answers. In a, in a way, we did get one answer that I didn't even have a question for it yet, but... Yeah, um, great episode. I, I, I definitely want to see more. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Reaction, and I will see you guys for episode four. It may either be today or it'll be tomorrow. So just look forward to that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.